there are a few key preferences that we need to set on a new installation of 3ds max let's go into the customize menu and choose preferences first let's look at the help tab go up there and you'll see that the help location is defaulted to the autodesk website that means if you go into the help menu here that the help is going to be online and it's not going to be on your local computer and in fact, I think this is actually a really terrible idea because it's really common that there's a server load that day or you're having internet problems or, you know, there's just too many people online, whatever, and you actually have difficulty accessing the help. So it's a lot slower. It's going to waste your time. So I don't really recommend using the website. The rationale is that it can always be updated, but in practice, it isn't. So there's really no compelling reason to ever use the website for the help documentation. Instead, what you should do is click on this download button and it will take you to the Autodesk website where you can download a local copy. And it's going to be a very large file, several hundred megabytes. You'll need to install it. Once you've installed it, then you can restart 3ds Max, come back into this dialog and click local computer network. And from then on, when you go into the help documentation, it'll be hosted on your local computer and you won't have any connectivity issues. You won't have any issues of having to wait for the search engine, you know, and all that sort of stuff. So I think that's actually really important that you do that right away. Another really important thing that you need to look at is your display driver. And to look at that, you'll go into viewports and you'll see display drivers. And depending upon your hardware, you will see different options here. If you click on choose driver, you can see that there are some things you can choose from here. Really, the Nitrous Direct 3D is your best option, and whatever the latest version of Direct 3D that your computer will support is the one that you want to choose. These other ones here you want to stay away from, they're going to be a lot slower and have a lot fewer options. But if you're having problems with 3ds Max, if you're having screen corruption or any kind of weird issues, then you might try going into this display driver section and changing it to a different display driver setting and restarting 3ds Max and see if that alleviates any of your issues. All right, and then the final thing we really need to look at is under the Files tab. And there's this cryptic switch here that's labeled Convert Local File Paths to Relative. And in fact, this is super important and you need to enable this. What this is going to do is it's going to make sure that when you apply, for example, an image in your scene, that the location of that will be stored relative to your current project folder, rather than relative to your current drive. So let's take a look at this. I'm just gonna explain this really briefly with a couple of slides. An absolute path is the entire address of a file, and that may include a network, or perhaps a drive letter or a volume name. So here's an example. If I store something in my exercise file, scene assets images, if it's an absolute path, it's going to include the drive letter and all of the folders that are nested inside one another. That's an absolute path. A relative path is just a shortened abbreviated address, and it only includes the data that's relative to the current project folder. In other words, with a relative path, we don't store the entire location. All we store is what folder it is inside the current project. So that's why it's called relative. So in this example, the only thing that would be stored is scene assets, images, and then the image name, period, nothing more. The relative path is far, far better. And that's why we need to make that our default in the preferences, because with a relative path, that means that you can move your entire project to a different folder or a different computer, or you can rename the folder. And all the links to files are going to be internally consistent. They will not break. If you use an absolute path and you simply move your project folder to a different location, then it could instantly break your entire folder structure. And none of your scene assets are going to be found anymore. And that's really a bad outcome. You never want that to happen. So back in 3ds Max, we want to always make sure that convert local file paths to relative is enabled. I can't stress that enough. You have to have this enabled for the 3ds Max project folders to work correctly. All right, click OK. And we've set the most important preferences for the program.